Hello, I'm Dr. Tess Mauricio. We should all be beautiful inside and out. The Dr. Tess Show. Hi, I'm Dr. Tess Mauricio. I'm a cosmetic dermatologist. I live in San Diego. I have two kids, a husband, my parents. We all live in one happy roof. Um, and my siblings, uh, Rick, Cheryl, and Angela, we all run M Beauty together. Hello, I'm Dr. James Lee. I'm Dr. Tess's husband of 15 years now. Uh, we have two children. 14-year-old daughter, freshman in high school, and a seven-year-old son. He's in second grade now. They're both uh, amazing kids. We couldn't have asked for better children. And that's it so far, just the two. Michael, Ready to go? Good morning, my boy. I, one of the things I really look forward to actually is mornings with the children, uh, getting them ready for school and, you know, trying to get some breakfast in them. All right. What do you want? Tea or coffee? Uh, I'll have tea. I'll have tea. So, as you can imagine, talagang late na ako natutulog sa gabi. Ang um, sabi nga sa akin ni James, try not to go on your phone until 1 a.m. You know, ganun talaga maraming iniisip, maraming nasikaso. So, I usually try at my best to get my beauty rest. So at least five or six hours of sleep, but if I can get seven hours, it's really great. Jaina has to leave well, four out of the five days. She has to leave before um, I can really even wake up. So she's out and she takes care of herself. Um, and usually it's just me, you know, Tess and Michael. So we get him, we wake him up, get him ready, and try to get some breakfast for him. And I'm so lucky kasi nga, ang, you know, James is very, very supportive. Um, siya talagang, you know, parang nag-aalaga sa mga anak namin to make sure na Jaina goes to school. Si Michael, um, he needs a little bit more help kasi, you know, so he also stays up late. And then I have to wake him up, get him ready, get his um, um, teeth brushed, get his clothes. <laughs> Michael hates putting sunscreen on. Right, Michael. Hmm. But you have to wear it, right? Si Michael, kasi nga, medyo naantok pa yan sa umaga. So I tried to wake him up with his favorite TV show, which is SpongeBob. Michael. Yeah. What channel? SpongeBob. Seven thirty-three. Seven thirty-three. So, basta nakbalod na yung sponge bag, magigising na yan, and then we can get him going to school. Michael is such a boy. I mean, he likes his cars, his airplanes, his toy guns, and I don't know how many Nerf guns he has, but he uh, he has at least three or four Nerf guns, and we like to play Nerf a uh, Nerf battle with each other, but he's such a kid. I mean, he's such a boy. I, I, I have a lot of fun with him. Oh, you're gonna, oh, he's gonna put the oh, sniper tripod on. Yeah. Siyempre, typical na seven-year-old boy si Michael. Ang talagang gusto niya, mas gusto niya kaysa going to school is playing. So, I try to use yung mga gusto niya na TV, na Spongebob, and yung mga toys niya to wake him up in the morning. I let him play, um, you know, with his uh, Beyblades, yun ang gusto niya, o kaya yung mga Lego niya. So that mag-engage siya, ma-wake up siya, and then we can walk him to the bus stop. Oh, it's not raining. Come on, you want to go to the wall? Okay, He's ready, buddy, boy. He knows what's happening. Okay. As often as we can, try to walk him to his bus stop. It's about two blocks away, so it's not much of a walk, but it's really some, really time that I enjoy. Come on. Bye, bye, bye. Come on. Good boy. Come on, Michael. 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 Come on,
Good luck, stop. <laughs> I don't like big dogs. That's a scary dog. I can't handle dogs like that. No. No. Dogs like that, I just hold my breath. No. And hope it doesn't attack and kill me. <laughs> Seriously. Have you, have we, have we we told you about that. this is irrational. Yeah, yeah, dog. I was bitten by a dog when I was. It took forever for a, for her to agree to cargo. But when he was a puppy, he was, right, like, he was like this big. So. I guess you are here. Friendly reminder. Oh, now the bus. Scared. Okay, there we go. Okay oh, I think that's it. All right, guys. Yay! You're supposed to have fun and learn one thing. Learn one thing. Bye, B. Bye, Michael. Bye, guys. Good morning. Bye, B. Yeah, exactly. Bye, Cargo. Uh, ooh, Michael in the front today. Oh, okay, goodbye. Bye. Day. Now they're off. We can start our day. <laughs>
guys, all right, I've got a list of 20 things and this is what we're going to do. We've got to finish it by the end of the day, okay? And then there are other days where I come in with my nursing shoes and my scrubs on. <laughs> and it's just like, you know, I just feel kind of tired. I'm like, all right guys, it's a low key day, you know, let's do the best we can, but there's nothing on my checklist for us to do. So overall though, um, I'm super patient oriented. Um, I'm really not a manager. I'm not that organized, but I gotta tell you, when I step into that patient room or into the room with a patient, I'm like really on it. I'm like 100% on and it's just because when for me that's my focus when I'm in the room with the patient I don't care about anything else every time someone comes in to see me you can rest assured I'm really giving you my focus and also I really try and individualize how I do things for someone so I really try and make everyone feel special and you know even like with my employees um, I'm probably the good cop I'll say yeah if there is a bad cop Cheryl <laughs> my name is Cheryl and I'm Tess's sister. What I do at the clinic is I do more of the logistical, like the accounting, the books, the inventory. So anything that's not medical related, that's on me. <laughs> no, because you have such limited parking here, so we can only have like two cars out there. So employees are supposed to park like down here, so I was like arguing. Them. All right, move please. So I was like, okay. I just came to drop off the flash drive for these guys. Move. I know, you know how he is. <laughs> Hi, my name is Christian Santos and I work for Dr. Tess at MBD Clinic in National City. I also work in uh, Script French um, on some days. Right now I work for Dr. Tess as a cosmetic consultant. Uh, basically, uh, I take care of um, incoming patients who want to get consultation. And you will see me on uh, different events where uh, Dr. Tess uh, goes. Um, so say hi to me if you see me. Hi, I'm Christine and I'm one of Dr. Tess Cosmetic Consultant. We recommend kami ng mga treatments at saka skincare product na gagamitin ng pasyente pagkatapos ng um, recommended treatment. Hi, my name is uh, Genesis Walter, well known as Patricia Javier. Uh, ako ay isang actress from Philippines and singer. Pero ngayon po, then dito na po ako sa Amerika. At the same time, I'm an esthetician at M-Beauty. Well, my name is Alexandra. I work with Dr. Tess for approximately eight years now. And I'm a medical assistant, so I get to interact with every single patient. I get to help them as much as I can, bring them back, ask, you know, normal routine questions. Good morning, MPD by Dr. Tess. Abel speaking, how can I help you? Hi, my name is Abel. I've actually been working here at Dr. Tess's office, MPD in Glendale, since uh, June. I found them online. They were looking for a Filipina esthetician, and I applied anyway. I'm a Hispanic male, but I kind of look like a Filipina, so it kind of works out. My favorite part of the job is that uh, everybody's treated like family, and every day is different. It's fast-paced, and everybody loves what we're doing. We all have fun. Um, so I feel very lucky na at each of our branch, ang mga staff namin, I feel confident na when patients interact with them, that they are being taken care of very, very well and that they are getting the very best care by people who truly are loving, caring people. I'm Jennifer and I'm 58 years old. This was me a month ago. I could hardly look at myself in the mirror. This is me now. I didn't think it was possible, but I feel and I look great. And the best part is that I did it all without having surgery. It's as though I stepped into a time machine and I look 10 years younger. Thank you, Dr. Tess. You're welcome, Jennifer. If you're like Jennifer and you want to look younger, call one of our M Beauty clinics near your area. Step into our time machine and we'll bring you back. I'm so blessed to have a successful career in show business and be a wife and a mother at the same time. After my second child, napansin ko na parang tumaba ako. And I'm so lucky to find the best, si Dr. Tess. Women's bodies change after childbirth. It's almost impossible to get back in shape after having kids. Our tickle lipo procedure will get that body back. Ladies, we can get our sexy back. Dr. Tess, simply the best. Hey, Dr. Tess, show. Last season, 
napanood ninyo na ang dahil namin ginawa kay Anjanette. Siya talaga ang parang M-beauty model from head to toe, you know? So, so inayos namin yung skin niya because she had acne, acne scars, yung discoloration, um, of course, rejuvenation ng skin niya. Um, we also, um, I fixed her earlobes, yung torn earlobes niya. Ngayon, nakaka-heavy earrings na siya. Tumang-tumang nga siya. Very excited siya. And then, um, of course, we did the liposuction, yung kanyang arms and yung kanyang waist and hips. Um, she's so happy. She's glowing. Lahat ng tao na nanotice ang kanyang blooming appearance nga from head to toe. Ang skin niya is dramatically transformed. Um, talagang makikita mo if you compare and she actually has this thing ang kanyang cellphone. Yung before photo niya and then her photo now. Makikita mo talaga yung difference. no? Talagang at least 10 years younger siya. And in person, it's even more impressive. Um, talagang glowing ang skin niya. She doesn't use as much makeup, which is a, a key. Um, and she's loving yung Lifeline Stem Cell Skin Care na she uses for maintenance. And then, of course, yung body niya ngayon na kumakita mo lahat ng post niya sa Facebook, ang kanyang sexy poses, more confident, at talagang bumabalik na siya sa kanyang Darna style. I think malapit na naming ma-achieve yung Darna body na that Anjanette had. We all have issues with our face and skin at any age. Now stem cell technology can help. Introducing Lifeline, stem cell in a bottle. I found the most amazing technology. This is human stem cell technology, but these stem cells are not embryonic. Sabi nila bumata daw ako. Saka nawala yung mga wrinkles, tapos nag-glow yung face ko. Skin becomes brighter and clearer just after a few days. Someday, stem cells will change the world. Today, stem cells will change our skin. Hi, I'm Dr. James Lee, inventor of the Ugly Pen, which stands for Ultimate Grip Lee Pen, which is the first physician-designed, truly comfortable ergonomic pen on the market. I created this pen out of frustration. During my medical school and medical training years, I used to write a lot, and I had hand cramps every day. I tried every single ergonomic pen there was out there, and none of them worked. All other ergonomic pens are designed to look comfortable. The Ugly Pen is the first physician pen designed to actually be comfortable. I want to show you an x-ray of a hand holding an Ugly Pen. And the one thing that I want you to notice is the shape of the bones of the hand. Most people think that the bones of the hand are flat, they look like fingers, but actually they have a lot of contour to them. They are curved, they have bumps, they have grooves, they have ridges. And I wanted to create a grip that matched the bones of the hand. And there it is, the Ugly Pen, the most comfortable pen that you can get your hands on. Go online and order your ugly pen today. Doctor's orders. Natin today is yogurt. So it's very, very popular right now. There's the frozen yogurt, there's the Greek yogurt, and as long as you're eating non fat and low fat yogurt, it actually can be good for your skin because yogurts are high in vitamin A. Vitamin A po is a very important vitamin for the skin. It renews the skin, it repairs, it actually decreases acne. It is the main ingredient for the product called retinol. And so if you can ingest that, and yogurt is a really fun way to eat and intake vitamin A. Also, yogurt can be low fat. It also is high in protein. So if you're also trying to watch your weight and try to keep a slim shape, this can be wonderful. So remember, if you're shopping around and you want to treat, maybe instead of ice cream, pick up non-fat and low-fat yogurt. Yes, it's Dr. Tess. So Tess often gets called for uh, various TV segments and uh, this particular morning she was called to do a live segment on TV which doesn't bother her at all. It, it, it bothers some people. Even I have a uh, little phobia for the public speaking in the camera. But Tess steps right in. doesn't matter. She, it's live, taped, two week notice, five minute notice, she's good. So. When, when, when do you want me to come in?
Um, I got another call to guest on a live TV show dito sa San Diego. I get those calls quite often kasi ngayon, after ba nga 10 years na ako in practice and the news stations have seen me on TV and they've seen my performances. Whenever they need a dermatologist to comment or if they want something new, they want to hear the latest technology, dinatawagan nila ako. I have a patient I can bring. Tess has been on just about every show there is out there. I, I, I'm not even sure I can remember it all. But Rachel Ray, The Doctors, The Talk, San Diego Living, KUSI News, Channel 6 News. People have seen her everywhere. Uh, they're syndicated, ABC, NBC, CBS, the whole world really. And even in the Philippines, uh, The Talk is re-aired there. So people in the Philippines have seen her on The Talk. So wherever we go, she seems to be recognized. Sure, sure. So, yeah, so um, we'll bring in, um, I'll send some before and after photos. And then, and then, um, yes. Yes, we, we, we have a patient. And then I'll send her before and after photos. And then we can talk about her um, transformation. Iba talaga ang live TV because you have to know what you're gonna say ahead of time. You have to prepare it in your head and you cannot panic kasi yun talaga mahirap. A lot of doctors out there matatalino sila, alam nila yung kanilang expertise pero pag nilagay mo na yung camera sa harap nila, they freeze. So itong mga stations and the news managers, alam nila who are the doctors they can go to na can deliver a very concise, great message on TV live. Sun protection sun exposure is the number one reason for aging skin. I'm one of them and so today that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna prepare, put my makeup on, get my hair done and then drive to the station and do a live TV show. Audience will love it. She's perfect. She's in her 60s, you know, sort of like your viewers, um, demographics. And she's done TV before so she won't freak out that it's live. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. So just email me all the information and then my assistant Lisa will uh, get back to you and then we'll get everything together. Okay, all right. Thanks. I'll see you then. Okay, bye-bye.